Evening and all. We're going to make us some grilled cheese sandwiches. This is all you need right here. Some butter, cheese, and bread. We'll butter that bread, put the cheese on top of it, and throw it down in this fry pan here. Let's get the fire going underneath of there. There we go. That looks high enough. We'll start buttering up that bread right there. Spread that butter all over that bread right there. Put that down in there. Then drop the cheese on top of there. Get you another slice of bread. And butter it. That looks good right there. I'm going to cook four of these. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little bit hungry. I'll tell you why. I've been battling these two doggone circuits at work and they pretty much wore me out. Took all my energy. So I got to get my energy levels back up with a little bit of food. I think this right here grilled cheese sandwiches right here will do it. You got kids at the house. <laughs> they love grilled cheese sandwiches. They really do. Can't go wrong with kids and grilled cheese sandwiches. When my son and daughter was young, we cooked this all the time. Uh oh, it's coming undone. Get on there. There you go. We cook grilled cheese sandwiches all the time, at least every Saturday. They enjoyed that. Now, I cook these for the grandkids. And they love, they love them grilled cheese sandwiches too. Put the tops on those two sandwiches. I gotta hurry up before I burn those. There we go. One more slice of bread. something. Let me slide this over here for a little bit. Get it off the middle. When you're working on something at the shop and it just ain't going right, it's it's really, really demoralizing. <laughs> i tell you what, I'm going to put this blue bonnet butter back in the refrigerator. You got something ain't going right at the shop and wondering why in the world did I pick this career field <laughs> oh yeah that beer is good hey, put that beer down over there I guess some things just weren't meant to get fixed it always seems this line of work, electronic repair, that the things that you can't fix takes the most effort 
to find out you can't fix them. <laughs> That's aggravating. Why is that? Why is that? I don't know. Let's put this over here to that one side right there. Put that over there to that one side. We'll flip these over in a little bit. Get the other side going. Hopefully I don't burn them. Let's think about grilled cheese sandwiches. You gotta keep on top of them, otherwise they'll get burnt. <laughs> Listen to that. That one's sizzling. Let's move these other ones over here to that side right there. We'll get this one over the fire. Just gonna keep moving around a little bit. After that, we'll add this one over onto the fire. Then we'll flip them over. three, four, five months I've been going to work uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and then going in for a couple hours on Saturday and Sunday and every now and then uh, my granddaughter going to work with me. Oh she's smart as a whip. She helps me out. She's a real good help. She can solder and take drives apart. I went to work this last Saturday. I was working on those two doggone. Can I cuss? No, don't cuss. <laughs> you don't want to cuss. <laughs> I went into work this last Saturday and I was working on those two units. Uh, I just. I, I'm about at the end of my rope with them things. I can't fix them. They beat me. <laughs> and so I left out of work Saturday, disgusted of working, working on them things. And I was going to go give it another go on Sunday. And you know what I did? <laughs> Let me get a swig off of my beer. I was going into work. And there, 100 yards in front of me, as I was driving into work, there's the shop. Here's 50 yards. There's the shop. Passing me on the right side of the automobile. And then here we are, zero yards. I'm here. And then all of a sudden, I just kept on going. <laughs> I drove right past that place. <laughs> I drove for another 50 miles. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and I tell you what, that was the greatest feeling I had ever had on the face of this earth is when I drove by that place and didn't stop. I kept on going. <laughs> I kept on going. And if I could have kept on going, I'd have ended up in California, or at least Tennessee. <laughs> I'm so glad to take one day off from that place. Oh, man. I've been working ever since I was a little boy. Let's move this over here. Oh, that's hot. Be careful, people. That's hot. Let's get these over here. I'm going to flip these over in a little bit. I've been working ever since I was a little boy. My dad would be working on his car or whatnot, and I'd be handing him tools and, and things.
things like that. So he could. Uh, oh, that's hot. Let's get these flipped over before I burn them. There we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Come on, flip over. Yeah, nice and golden brown. Look at that. This one could have stayed over there a little bit more. I didn't have it over the fire. That one, too. Let's get those in the middle there. Look at that. But I've been working since I was a little boy, just like all of my father's sons and, and daughter. And whenever he needed some help with doing something around the house or with the car, we'd, we'd try to go help him out. When he was his little kid, we, most we could do was hand him a wrench or uh, hold the flashlight. He did all the work, but that's a long time. That is absolutely a long time. And when I drove by the shop <laughs> Sunday, I felt a little bit rebellious going against my nature. <laughs> I kept on going. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, I felt like I had committed a sin against my father uh, by not going to work. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. You should have seen me looking in the rear view mirror in my car and seeing that shop get smaller and smaller and smaller and me just keep going. Felt so good not to go to work. That ain't like me. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I think it was those two things. I'm trying to fix it. I can't. That's what pushed me over the edge. Well, anyways, Monday come around and I went back to work. Still couldn't fix those doggone things, but I was there. Two in to go. Here's Tuesday. Uh, I've given up on them. They just ain't going to get fixed by me. I hate that because I'm better than that. And when, uh, when there's something electronic that I can't fix, it always feels like the end of the world. I guess that's the psychology of me. I just always feel like I could be better than that. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I give it a good go. I give it a good run. That might be one of my flaws. I just try to do too much to be um, too much to be trying to fix things all the time. Sometimes I just can't fix it. And when I can't fix it, it's like the end of the world. Ain't that strange? Why am I like it? I don't know. There you go. These grilled cheese sandwiches will make me feel better. <laughs> Let's see if we can get those off of that fry pan over there on that dish right there. And uh, we'll go eat. There's one. Oh, yeah. I remember my mother. She'd make us grilled cheese sandwiches and, and uh, tomato soup in the winter time. So, let's turn that fire off down there. That's some good eats right there. Now, I ain't got no tomato soup today. 
But I'll tell you what we got right here. We got the other half. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be good. Look how nice those look. People, I gotta get your spirits back up. You be ready to go back to work tomorrow. <laughs> you won't be heading to California on the way to work. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, folks. I really appreciate it when y'all stop by. Thank you very much for coming over. Come on. Let's go eat.